if you happen to be lucky enough to buy a property or inherit a property, you have the opportunity to start to plan your infrastructure to reduce erosion. You always have a lot of stuff that's already in place then you have to deal with that but if you're putting in new infrastructure it's good to think about erosion control right from the beginning. The type of things you should be thinking about are the placement of tracks, water points, your yards, sheds, your fire breaks, water points such as dams and dam by washes, those type of things. They're notorious for erosion. That's why property planning is so important. If you have those things in the right place from the start, you have a really good opportunity to reduce erosion. Prevention is always better than cure. Access tracks can become severely eroded if they are not located correctly. Tracks in steep areas are particularly prone to erosion. As water runoff travels down the poorly vegetated track surface, it gains speed and causes erosion. The best location for a track, whether formed or not, is along or close to the top of the main ridge. By placing your track on the ridge, it will accumulate less water and dry out faster after rain. So fence lines and access tracks are essential in creating your business, a grazing business. When you are looking at that, it's really important to look at what sort of erosion prevention you can do while you're planning those sort of bits of infrastructure. If you can, make sure you can run those along ridge lines because it doesn't gather any water. If you have to go downhill with those structures, which is fine, make sure that you have the appropriate amount of woe boys there to divert water off that track and spread it onto a well-grassed area. When you're going across uh, the landscape, if you have to run across a hill, make sure you run on the contour and if you can create your road just on a slight incline so that water shedding from a higher point in the catchment runs off the road in a level way down the rest of the hill without concentrating water down the track. The same principles of sticking to ridges, using woe boys and running along the contour apply to fire breaks as well as fence lines and tracks. The track behind me is a good example of a concentration of water by an access track and a fence line. So the track's been put in to support the fence line, but the track has gone straight downhill without an appropriate amount of woe boys to divert water off the track. So water is really concentrated down this track and has started to feed some gullying further downstream. There are some low cost solutions to fix this problem. We've caught it early enough that a few woe boys grading the track flat will really divert that water and save this site. When installing fence lines, access tracks and fire breaks on a property, or doing any type of property planning, keep these key points in mind. 1. Stick to the top of ridge lines. 2. When going downhill, make sure you are diverting water off the track using woe boys. 3. When going across a hill, follow the contour. Create roads on a slight incline so water does not pool or travel down the path, but instead flows across the track. So the two most important parts of when you're thinking about putting water points in is your distance between water points and your location of a trough. So it's not on a sensitive area near a riparian area or a gully, it's out in the middle of the paddock. Cattle are really lazy, even with some grazing pressure they only walk about 400 metres max. Okay, And then you start to see patchy grazing. What you want to do is see an evenness of grazing pressure throughout your property so you know that you're utilising feed and not overgrazing areas. So the distance between water is really important for that. When you're planning your property, it's very important to consider all your infrastructure carefully. One of the key ones is fencing. When you're looking at fences, they can create erosion or they can reduce erosion. When you're fencing to reduce erosion on a property, it's useful to look at your land types. Riparian areas, uh, different land types like box country, brigalow country, ironbark country, granite country, so that you can delineate those areas and manage them separately so you can keep good ground cover at all times. When it comes to property planning, there is no one design that suits all. Each property is unique. Historical decisions, catchment size, land types, business goals and existing infrastructure ensure all properties face different challenges. Therefore, a design must be customised to suit the property's lands and business needs. This property is an example of good property layout here on top of the ridge where you've got a water point, uh, water distribution point on top of the ridge, this track, access track along the top of the ridge and a fence line along the top of that ridge with tracks on both sides so that water can 
flow away and not be concentrated in either of those points. Taking extra care to get your property plan right can save you thousands of dollars. When planning property infrastructure, the aim is to minimise the use of costly resources and minimise stress on management, workers and livestock. Gully prevention is always better and cheaper than a cure. Burnett Mary Regional Group and Fitzroy Basin Association work in Queensland with local landholders to prevent erosion and heal damaged land. Interested in learning more? Landholders located in the Fitzroy or Burnett Mary regions are welcome to collect a gully erosion manual from FBA or BMRG. The manual includes detailed information to help you adopt best practice prevention and rehabilitation methods on your property.